Welcome back to the third video in a series, a formal introduction to Symmetron Quick Electrode. Today's discussion will be EDM setup, electrode drawings, assembly drawings, and the EDM setup report. This battery core should look familiar from the first two videos. We have eight electrodes designed and it's time to get them to the EDM. One option is to use the EDM setup module. I'll open it up and go over some of the options. From the drop down at the top, I'll verify my Charmi EDM. Notice I have two main tabs in this application. The electrode parameters tab is used to input information about the job and the electrodes. By selecting items in the tree to the left, the user easily navigates through the settings. Choosing the battery core, I can set up parameters relative to the entire setup, like the part name or adding comments. Using the burn surfaces of the electrode, Symmetron can calculate the burn area for the project. Choosing each electrode name displays the electrode parameters. For this machine, I can set shape parameters, EDM parameters, and specific tool settings. I've already taken the time to key in the desired undersize amount for each of the electrodes and added the magazine location to save video time. Choosing locations from the left displays the location information that will be used. Reviewing electrode 8, we can see the 3D trajectory is in a somewhat raw form. Many times an EDM specialist will have the software in his work area. This is an easy way to control the overall process. After all the decisions about each of the electrodes have been made, the user will advance to the Processing tab. Here the EDM specialist can choose what order to sync the electrodes. I'll choose my two larger electrodes and push them to the right. Then scroll back up and push electrode 1 in its mirror. The right pane displays the electrode locations queued up in the output order. The specialist has the option to move them up or down in the list with the arrows. Notice that as I select electrodes and push them to the queue, they are removed from the left pane. This helps track which electrodes have been output to the machine, which should reduce errors due to electrodes being skipped or unnecessarily double hit. Now that I have several electrodes queued up, I can post process them for the machine. I can select the desired post processor profile, choose the file name, and the file location. I'll check the box to open the file and click OK. When the post processing is complete, I can push the text file to the EDM for burning. Symmetron currently supports a variety of Synker EDMs, including Makino, Mitsubishi, Charmi, Agi, Sodic, Ingersoll, and Ona, to name a few. Next, let's take a look at other options for communicating with the EDM specialist. Symmetron's electrode module uses customizable drafting templates to create drawings to communicate with the shop floor. By simply right-clicking on any electrode or group of electrodes, I can create location drawings, inspection drawings, or assembly drawings. For the video, my preferences are set to create a combined inspection and location drawing on a single sheet. When the drawing is complete, the system prompts me with an option to open the file for review. Notice to the left I have two views of the electrode. In the center, the plan view and the front view of the core insert. To the right, an ISO view of the electrode. And at the bottom, a location table with all the locations listed. In the two electrode views, I'll add some relevant dimensions, then it's ready to print and save.
Next, let's look at the assembly drawing of the first few electrodes. At the top left, a plan view with ID tags for each electrode location have been displayed. To the right, a table with all of the locations. Each of the electrodes are also presented in an ISO view around the plan view. That brings us to our final topic for today, the EDM Setup Report. This is created using a customizable template in Excel. This report contains information about the electrode and its burn location. For the video, I'm showing a custom report with the output broken up into two sheets. Sheet 1 has the electro blank information for ordering, and Sheet 2 has the burn location and 3D trajectory. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video series. To follow the process of manufacturing electrodes, please consider watching the series Getting to Know Symmetron NC.